is a type of medicine that trains your body to fight any foreign agent. Plants are helpful for the ecosystem. It's an electronic device for storing and processing data. The nervous system is all the collection of nerves in your body. Yeast is a eukaryote. Welcome to Spectacular Science, where it's all about science, with your host, Akshay. Hey listeners, welcome back to this episode of Spectacular Science. I'm your host, Akshay. Have you ever wondered what's beyond the planets of our solar system? Well, that's what I've been wondering about. And guess what? There's so many things beyond our planets. But we're going to talk about two of them. And that's the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt. And these are two things that are still in our solar system, but are on the outer reaches of our solar system. So first of all, to start things off... We have to ask a very simple question, but it's really deep inside. Where are we in the universe? And by we, I mean Earth and all the living things on it. Let's think of this as our space address. You know, every single home and building has their own address. Well, we're going to give planet Earth its own address. So let's see. Planet Earth is in the solar system, and the solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy. Galaxies are large groups of stars. Each of those stars has its own solar system, and that's what our sun is. Our sun is actually a star with its own solar system around it. That's what we are in right now. Most galaxies also have giant, supermassive black holes in the middle. That actually keeps everything orbiting around the center of the galaxy, which is what helps the galaxy keep its shape. Now, we are on one of the Milky Way's spiral arms. The spiral arms are actually small groups of stars, and we are on one of those arms and on the very edge of one of those arms. That means we're on the very edge of our own galaxy. So Earth's cosmic address is Earth solar system one of the arms of the milky way and the whole milky way galaxy and then last but not least the universe and that's where we are right now now let's focus on the two things beyond our planets the kuiper belt and the Oort cloud first of all what is the kuiper belt and we'll start with that The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. There may be millions of these objects, and they're all referred to Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs, or trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs, in this distant region of our solar system. Similar to the Asteroid Belt, the Kuiper Belt is a region of leftovers from the solar system's early history, Like the asteroid belt, it has also been shaped by a giant planet, although it's more of a thick disk like a donut than a thin belt. The Kuiper Belt should not be confused with the Oort Cloud, which is a much more distant region. The Kuiper Belt actually is where some of the short-range comets come from. Comets are large balls of ice and dust hurtling through space. You can check out our Comets episode for more information. Anyway, the Kuiper Belt is where Neptune and some other dwarf planets are located. And there's lots of ice, dust, debris, and even some dwarf planets that are orbiting in the Kuiper Belt. And still remember that the Kuiper Belt is still orbiting around the sun. That's why Pluto orbits around the sun. Now, the Kuiper Belt is actually filled with lots and lots and lots of debris and that debris is left over from the formation of our solar system billions of years ago when the sun first formed it actually formed and left over some debris for other planets to form and after the planets formed there was some leftover debris and that's what we call asteroids and space dust 
and that space dust began orbiting in a disk or donut-shaped form, and it went to the outer reaches of solar system beyond Neptune. And that is what the Kuiper Belt is. Now let's move on to the Oort Cloud. Well, way past Neptune's orbit, and even past the Kuiper Belt, what is actually out there? And what's out there is called the Oort Cloud. Unlike the orbits of planets in the Kuiper Belt, which are pretty flat like a disk or a donut, the Oort Cloud is a spherical shell surrounding everything in our solar system. It's like a bubble with a thick shell. The Oort Cloud is made up of icy pieces of space debris. Sometimes those debris are jostled out of the cloud and fall towards the sun, becoming comets. So the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are where most of the comets actually exist and actually come from. And that Oort Cloud is just like the Kuiper Belt except it surrounds our entire solar system. And it's made up of remnants of the leftovers of the forming of the solar system. And that's all just ice, dust, and debris. And the Oort Cloud actually marks the border of our solar system to the rest of our galaxy and the universe. And this Oort Cloud is very, very, very cold because it is very far away from the sun. But it is still pulled by sun the sun's gravity. And that's why it maintains kind of a spherical shape. The Oort Cloud is also home to some dwarf planets and lots and lots and lots and lots of lots of space debris. Wow, that was a lot of information about the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt. And that's only getting started. Scientists are still learning more about the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt. And we've never actually been there to observe them. But we have sent satellites and space probes up there to see what's actually going on in these very, very, very far away regions. Wow, maybe I should develop another spacecraft that can actually go that far, maybe can tell us more. Well, I've got to get to work on that in my lab, but before I go, what did we learn today? We learned that our solar system actually has outer reaches. And just to refresh you, our solar system is made up of the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and asteroids and dwarf planets, and even comets. And the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt are far reaches beyond the planets. And these are all orbiting around the Sun. They're all remnants of the solar system formation. Just ice, dust, and debris. And that is actually what makes our solar system this big and is what marks the border of our solar system to the rest of space, the endless universe upon us. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science is produced and hosted by me, Akshay. Our theme song is by Charan Ramachandran. Special thanks to Varun Ramachandran. Please visit my website, SpectacularSci.com, to find interactive activities, articles, blog posts, and so much more. That's SpectacularSci.com. Please follow the Spectacular Science membership, where you can get bonus episodes, activities, and the fact of the day, a fun science fact every single day. Sign up at SpectacularSci.com slash membership. That's SpectacularSci.com slash membership. Please contact me. Email me at podcast at SpectacularSci.com or head to SpectacularSci.com slash contact to find a contact form where you can send me questions, comments, and episode suggestions. I love hearing from you and it makes my day whenever I receive a message. Please subscribe or follow Spectacular Science on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or Amazon Music. By following, you get all the episodes automatically and get notified when new episodes are available. 
To learn more on how to subscribe, visit spectacularside.com slash subscribe or click on the link in the show notes below. Also in the show notes, you can find episode descriptions and activities and articles that go along with this episode. Go to the episode description. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of Spectacular Science next Tuesday. Bye!